Hi dental fans, I'm Dr. Rich, teaching you about dentistry and teeth so that you can have a very nice smile. In this video, I want to show you a close-up look at a set of upper and lower immediate overdentures. This patient's teeth were failing due to a combination of periodontal disease and cavities, and he needed to do something about it. His options were either non-removable teeth on implants, commonly called all on four, even though sometimes more than four implants are used, removable teeth on implants, commonly called implant overdentures or snap indentures, or regular dentures with no implants. He decided to go with implant overdentures. We also decided to make immediate dentures first, since he didn't want to go without teeth. So even though his teeth were failing, he was still able to chew with them. So the first step was to place eight dental implants. He had four placed in his upper jaw and four placed in his lower jaw. The implants were placed around his remaining teeth and were given about four months to heal. Once the implants were healed, they were uncovered and had locator post attachments placed on them. While the implants were healing, I made him a set of upper and lower immediate dentures. These are made out of all plastic and don't have the metal framework inside them. They are also as large as conventional dentures, meaning that the upper denture covers the roof of his mouth. Once the dentures were completed, I extracted the remaining teeth and fit the immediate dentures. After about a week or so, I inserted the snaps into the dentures so that he could use the implants while we waited for his jaws to heal after the extractions. Now that his jaws have healed, I started making him a set of final overdentures. The immediate dentures still work, but since his jaws have shrunk a bit when they healed, the dentures don't fit as well anymore. He mentions that he gets food stuck underneath them. The final overdentures will be smaller than the immediate dentures than the immediate overdentures and have a metal framework inside them. I also need to replace some of the locator posts now that the gums have shrunk down a bit. The posts were all five millimeters tall and are too tall now. The posts should only stick up about a millimeter and a half, just enough for the snap to fit onto it. Once the final overdentures are finished, I'll replace the snaps and the immediates so that they will fit the shorter posts. That way the patient can use the immediates as a backup pair of overdentures. I'm currently at the bite registration stage of the process. Once I've finished them, I'll make a video about the entire process. Any questions or comments, please let me know down in the comments section. Thank you very much for watching. See you in the next video. If you'd like to learn more about immediate dentures and overdentures, please check out my videos. What is an overdenture and what is an immediate denture? I'll leave links to them down in the description.